Alrighty, class. So, by now, we have watched the read-along video of The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. Simply what he's trying to say is be creative, be yourself, do what it is that you want to do. We learn a lot about that in art class by doing our own projects our own way. Even if we all do the same exact project in my classroom, each one of us are going to have a different way of doing it. So, as you can see here, here are two examples of Mr. B's dots. He started off by simply taking a watercolor brush, a watercolor palette. If you do not have watercolor materials, you can use markers, you can use crowns, anything that could have a bit of color to add a bit of flair to your piece. So, for this sakes and purposes, I'm going to be using a watercolor set. So, without thinking at all, just like in the book when she made the dot, I'm going to pick a random color, just like this. I get the paint palette wet. There's my dot, just like that. I have no clue what I'm going to do except make a colorful dot inspired by what is in my head, anything I'm thinking about, the colors I want to use based on my mood. I know we've talked a lot about that in class, but let's refresh that. If I use cool colors, that might say that I'm a little bit sad. If I use the warm colors, it kind of goes with like a little bit of anger, something like that. But we can just stick with the complementary colors and the secondary colors. So. I'm going to just make some dots on the page. As I'm doing this, I am not thinking at all about what's going on. I'm going to add more water to the top of my page because when I mix the colors, watch this, it starts to bleed. And I can continue to make that circle go outright. Some of you might think that's starting to look like a sun, but I might just use that to swirl colors on this right side. So my right side now has more red than my left. As I'm doing this, like I said, I'm not thinking twice about it. I'm making a mark and I'm moving on from it. So if you wanted to, this one has a little bit of splatter. I take my paintbrush and slightly splatter it. If it goes off the page, that's totally okay because guess what we can do? We can blend it right back in. See how that watercolor just moving around? For those of you using crayons or color pencils like that, obviously we won't be able to do it with that. But you can see, just like in class, when we mix yellows with the blue, that's gonna give us a green. We are mixing complementary colors to make our secondary colors. So what are some other colors we can mix on the side to make some of our secondary colors? Let's try this. We'll do yellow. And if we put red in there with the yellow, what's that going to make? The red and the yellow will start to give us an orange color. And now I'm using orange on the outside of my dot so I can tie back in with the middle of my dot. So there is no rhyme or reason, there is no right or wrong ever in art class. So I'm just going with it how I feel. Try not to mix too many colors together. The more colors you mix together, the more it's going to be muddled. And what I mean by that, it might turn into like a brown color and you might lose some of those really pretty color fades that you see in the middle of your dot. So I'm going to add some little strokes to the outside, just tie it all in together. And I don't want to add too much because it might make it a bit confusing. But I'm going to add just a little bit more to the outside, bring some of that color in here. And really after that, I think I'm quite done. So this will be my dot project and just like the peter reynolds book the dot what is the very last thing that he has his student do yep that's exactly right he has them sign it because we need to know it's yours yours is original so at the bottom here i'm going to put my name 
So everybody knows it is mine. Just like that. So when you create your dot, please upload that to my Google Classroom. If some of you are still having trouble with that, you can send the pictures to the Dojo account. I'll be able to see that, upload it to my Google Classroom, and then we'll be able to all view each other's dots. And I can guarantee you, even if you use your primary colors and your secondary colors, everybody's dot is gonna look completely different. And that is what is super, super cool about all the art that we do.